of fellow followers and welcome to Fantine. And today if you, it looks like Freddy's Nightmares, the original Nightmare on Elm Street TV series, will be easier to watch now. Uh, Screenbox, which is a new streaming service, which I've heard, I've just heard about not too long ago, a couple months ago, uh, has just announced that on February 15th, 2022, they will be releasing both seasons of Freddy's Nightmares on their streaming service in their entirety for the first time, you know, on any streaming service because it's been notoriously hard to find. Uh, and for the, some of those who, of you out there who do not know what Freddy's Nightmares was all about, let's run down that synopsis for you. The evil, sinister killer of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, Freddy Krueger, hosts this show where each week he shows us a tale of evil and death about the lives of people who live on Elm Street. This series was everything that you could imagine from a late 80s, early 90s TV series. Cheesy, fun, fantastic. Robert England hosted it as Freddy Krueger. It was much like, uh, you know, a Tales from the Crypt or Twilight Zone type series, which was so cool. I mean, they're not the greatest. <laughs> they're not the greatest, but this show was just so fun. It was so great to watch. And as a Freddy Krueger fan, as a Nightmare on Elm Street fan, it was so cool to just, to, just to see this on your TV, you know, after watching the movies and everything. More of a physical media guy here. This is my channel. I cover a lot of physical media. And I will give kudos to uh, Screenbox. Uh, for getting this on their streaming service. Yes, it is maybe another streaming service that you have to add to your rotation if you want to watch it, but it's really cool to know that it's finally making its way onto some sort of streaming service or some form of way to watch it. I would prefer a Blu-ray or DVD personally, uh, maybe with the, you know, the first two streamings on Screenbox. Maybe we'll get some eyes on it. Maybe we'll get a campaign for a, a Blu-ray or DVD. I know it was filmed on tape, so it might be a little hard for a Blu-ray, but a DVD will be fine of the whole series uh, because, like I mentioned earlier, it has been notorious hard to view not many streaming services I mean there's other ways I'm sure you can find online to, to watch it but like it's only ever been released on VHS and those VHS tapes are hard to come by I mean just look at this set right here this is the whole set of the series that they put out on VHS and without the cover boxes look at the price that it's going for that's just that's ridiculous and uh, you could also buy the single tapes here's a couple right here here's one uh, just you know with an episode on it and stuff uh, look at the price on that one and here's another one here uh, a little lesser price uh, uh, you know, but it comes with the box and everything. So there, there are various prices for these VHS tapes. They're hard to come by. They're hard to collect. And most people that get them don't really want to part with them. And if they do, like it, like I showed you there, their prices can tend to range in. Uh, a pretty good price range there. So uh, you know, it's pretty cool to be able to know that you can watch the series in its entirety for the for both two seasons uh, on Screenbox. So I may, I may check that out. Uh, it's another, you know, I'll pay for it. Maybe get a seven-day trial and burn through the uh, <laughs> the series and uh, just relive some good times because uh, I haven't seen the show in a long time. I don't remember a lot of it. And I, I remember the first one was, like, really cool. The first episode was directed by Toby Hooper. Uh, yeah, a Text Chainsaw Massacre. And uh, it was like a prequel starring Robert England of, uh, you know, what he went through to, leading up to Freddy. So that's really cool. So I'm looking forward to actually getting onto that and watching that again. Uh, but yeah, so uh, if you've never seen the series and if you've always been interested in the series or if you want to see the series again because it's been so long since you've had a chance to see it or you can't afford the VHSs or you don't want to go online and s find other ways to watch it, um, now's your chance. I will leave a link in the description to Screenbox down below if you want to go check them out. I don't know what else they have. I, I, I you know, personally, I, I, I like physical media, like I said. I, I, I tend to do Shudder, which is uh, pretty cool for a horror fan. So maybe another horror streaming services would be pretty cool as well. You know, who knows? I'll check it out. And I'm definitely looking forward to watching Freddy's Nightmares and Nightmare on Elm Street series. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. That, this just sounds good. So let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments section down below. If you like this video, please give it a like. Share the video out for everybody to see. And if I earned your subscription, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. I would truly appreciate that. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to do my due diligence out here. Talk about physical media, movies, horror, sci-fi, action, and uh, all that good stuff that so many of us love and connect with. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Wherever you guys are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Godspeed.